After surviving District 8-3A play, the Bulldogs now ready for Stephenville in the by district round of the playoffs. Coach Kirk Jones explains why the Yellow Jackets might be the most complete team the Bulldogs face this season. We make the playoffs and our reward is we get the Stephenville Yellow Jackets. So, uh, but that's great. You know, that's, uh, these opportunities are, are what uh, athletics and, and high school football are all about. And, and our kids understand it's going to be a tremendous challenge to go beat a, a very good football team. And we have a lot of respect for the Stephenville Yellow Jackets and what they've accomplished through the, through the years. Uh, they've got our full attention. So uh, we're working hard to put together a, a plan and, and have a week of practice where we can go in there and, and come away with a victory. Their offense very talented. They are uh, the Jones kids that plays quarterback for them is a tremendous uh, college prospect type quarterback. Uh, they have two big, good-looking wide receivers that they get the ball to. Um, their running back is solid. Their offensive line is big and physical. Um, they're they're a very good offense. They are a spread offense. Um, not everything that Bryles did there with his offense is exactly the same. You still do see a little bit of what uh, Bryles brought there and did, the concepts that he used. Um, Stephenville's head coach, Joe Gillespie, uh, played for Coach Bryles in the uh, late 80s, early 90s. So, uh, uh, you know, he's a Art Bryles guy. And, and uh, so you still do see a few things that, that look the same. But uh, mostly it's, it's just uh, it's a little bit different spread offense than what Bryles and his staff brought to Stephenville back in the late 80s. Defensively, they're very sound, uh, very well coached. They're, they're big on the D-line, got two tremendous defensive ends. Their linebackers are, are active and, and play downhill and fast. So uh, we'll have to be at our best on that side of the ball as well. It, it's real, they're really a football team that you watch and, and you don't find too many weaknesses. Reports out of Stephenville indicate fans are really excited about this particular Yellow Jackets team. And yet, Burnett feels like their district prepared them well for what's coming Friday night. For the Picayune TV, I'm Jennifer Fierro.